Look at this. Look at that. Look at <laughs> Alpha Cloud running towards it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at those little eye. Those little like full icons of the characters, like Final Fantasy VI style. Also, what is this camera angle? Did Cloud just disappear? Wait. <laughs> what? Let me go. Whoa. Oh my god. I was not expecting this. Get the underwear. Oh my god. There's actually a picture. I can't believe it. I, I'm actually stunned. I thought, like, there's nothing here, so I figured it's like an Easter egg, because there's no, like, there's no, like, thing. <laughs> I never thought I would ever see this in an official Final Fantasy VII disc. My life has changed forever. There's the member's card. Oh, my God. There's a little, like, secret room with creepy bee ladies. What are we gonna find in here? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, no. They have, like, a separate name for every tool. Are you kidding me? What is this? That's the... That's the... What? What? Wait. Pa wait. Pause. Pause. Everyone stop. The tissue that we've been winning from the battle arena all this time has a picture of the honeybee in on it. The thing is, these already have descriptions in the game. Oh my god. They made us set. I can't. I can't believe it. We have. We have the holy grail of Final Fantasy VII. We have an actual look at the creepy mask. It has its own full model. It wasn't just drawn. I can't. I can't believe it. This is gonna be Square Enix's first NFT. We're gonna sell this. The robot, yes! The robot! Look at him. So epic. Do I get the picture of Dio? Oh my god. HD 4K picture of Dio. Look at that. Harry monstrosity. Oh my god, it's freaking Jack. Why, why does it say Jack Pumpkin in English? What, what is this? Why? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Every time I walk in here now, I know that he that is Jack Pumpkin. What the? Oh my god. Yes. 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 And I can activate it too. <laughs> this is a Japanese Sony PlayStation. It is NTSC J. This is Final Fantasy VII International. This is the version that released in Japan after the versions came over to America and they added all of the, uh, the weapons and changed everything. They then re-released re it in Japan with all the extra stuff, all the bug fixes, et cetera, et cetera, right? So this version is basically just the version we all know, but in Japanese. But they also added a very special fourth disc which is called the perfect guide and basically what this is is it's like a manual on steroids i guess it has like a bestiary and a bunch of info on the characters and stuff like that uh, but it also has some really cool 
uh, like behind the scenes stuff. And I popped it in just to make sure it worked in the Japanese PlayStation that I bought. And there's a video and like I watched maybe 20 seconds of the video and it showed some like crazy alpha footage that I had never seen before. So then I was like, all right, I got to turn this off. We got to make this a thing. So we're going to watch together, at least for me the first time, some of the alpha footage and other really cool stuff that's on this disc that you can only play on a Japanese PS1. Here we go. Jagan, think about the 500. Prepare your butt. So we get this nice, like, cutscene montage here. It looks a lot like the montage it plays in the trailer for the Steam version. Is it quiet? Let's crank it up. <laughs> it spoiled the game. I love seeing this, like... So look at that. I don't even know what that was. It shows Knights of the Round, too. Um, those like screenshots, I can only imagine like who was playing for those screenshots. Yeah, quite the, the flex on the intro there. So I've never heard this song. This is exclusive just to this. <laughs> this is just telling us how to use the controller. Okay, thank you. Right, it looks a little louder now. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Look at this. When I saw this, I was like, oh my God. We have to, we have to do something with this. How cool is this? So, we'll get into this other stuff later. But, uh, this. I watched like 10 seconds of this. And I knew this was something special. This is mega, mega cool. So there's a file you can look at. But the movie is what I, I saw like a few seconds of. Also, another jam. This is on the international version, the version that released in Japan after it already released here. And they added this as a bonus. It's a fourth disc of the game as a bonus. Also, uh, just to reiterate, I'm recording this through SCART, through a real Japanese PS1. So this is like as legit as we can get. All right, so check this out. I wonder what these date are these date like in game dates or yeah it is because it's year seven. It's like some timeline stuff. Twelve nine is when the game starts. It's actually an official start date for the game. I'm not I'm not used to that sound. Coming from Aerith's face. <laughs> so a different, different style zoom in. Look at this! Look at that! Look at that! 
Alpha Cloud running towards it. Oh my god. So I saw that, and I was like, oh my god. This is crazy. I think I stopped about right here. But that looked like freaking... I don't even know. Look at those close-up models. That Barrett model looks ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god. He is... De Wait a second. Barrett's bigger than the enemies. What was that? Why is there a dragon inside... Midgar? Is that Bah- are we fighting Bahamut? We were fighting Bahamut. Oh, frog! Retro frog. Alpha frog. Red 13, I mean, that looks like his, pretty much his design. Chocobo. Is that a different guy on the screen there? Also, he's like dropping a crystal? What is that? Is that supposed to be Materia? Also, is that a retro save point over there? Look at that save point. Dude, Barrett looks so weird. Okay, there's Tifa inside what looked like maybe the first reactor. Oh, look at those numbers. The numbers are tiny. Oh my god, look at those little I those little like full icons of the characters, like Final Fantasy VI style. Also, what is this camera angle? Did Cloud just disap Wait! <laughs> what? Cloud just died. Did you see that? Cloud just just got murdered. We have to watch this again. We have to watch it again. I pressed X on accident. Dude, Cloud actually got deleted. <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. <laughs> so, that 1959 date, that's got to be like... I don't know what that would be. The Ancients weren't only 50 years ago, were they? I'm not sure what that. I'd have to look. See what that is. <laughs> is that the Derrick bait? Yeah, so... I don't actually know, like... If this was made specifically for this disc, or if they already had this. If this was, like, something they showed their investors or something. <laughs> back in the development of it. Because it does have this, like... I don't know. I, I think this was made for the disc, honestly. It's a bit too jumbled all around. I can't believe this. This part blows my mind. What are those giant yellow, like... urns all over the place that I saw? Like, what in the world? There's no limit bar, just a time bar. Oh wait, no, the limit's on the left, okay. So there's no barrier bar. What are those HP amounts? They're like, no HP. Barrett has like 60 MP, or Cloud does, I'm not sure. Whoever that character was had only 200 HP and only like 60 MP. This screen is so cool. This whole, like, he pulls out some materia and shows it off or something. There was a lot of deleted scenes from Seventh Heaven specifically. Yeah, I don't know if that's the one from the code or not. Also, the MP bar is weird. It's like 67 out of and then nothing. I don't know what that's about. Okay, this is later on development because they have the barrier bar now. This screen is so cool looking. Barrett looks amazing. And then here, Barrett is ginormous. Like, Barrett. 
Baron is actually like three times bigger than everyone else. And then Cloud actually gets deleted. Dude, that is so funny. Alright, making file. Got what it takes to be square. What? So this is showing off some, some other stuff. Whoa. this what is that anyone recognizing any of this cosmic wait which one was cosmic canyon That's concept art for Cosmo Canyon? This is? Cosmo Canyon was once a tree? I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, excuse me, that's a pumpkin? <laughs> Ma'am, this is a Wendy's? sure what this is this almost looks like the the, the I, I don't know no idea I don't think this is all Final Fantasy 7 Genova containment maybe what is this That? that almost looks like a plate, yeah. Okay, yeah. Plate, HQ. Let's go, Nyla. This is so detailed. Holy cow. This looks like... Oh, it's the train station, yeah. I was gonna say, it looks like the train station... I don't see the train, but I saw it. This is... Seventh Heaven Bar? Gotta be. It's got the... It's got the swing doors. Oh, no. This is the bar in Junon. That's really cool, having these two pictures back-to-back. See RJP, they give it the bits, man. God, look at those models. Imagine if the game ended up looking like this. Instead of having it's more like robust. I don't feel like if the game had these like goofy models like this, I don't know if it would have like come across the same way. I feel like the the rigid look of Final Fantasy VII is really what gives it like its tone. It would have been really weird if it looked like this. What is this? This must be the top of Cosmo Canyon. That's what the top of Cosmo Canyon looked like at one point. It looks nothing like that. No. Is this reactor? I think that's gas lab. Go back. Maybe. See, that window though makes me feel like you're looking out into Cosmo Canyon. And then that would be like the telescope. So that's why I thought Cosmo Canyon. But that big furnace thing kind of makes me feel like it's an icicle village. That bar was an early version of 7th Heaven, really. So then they, they must have repurposed it for Junon then. That's cool. 
So 7th Heaven used to look like the bar in Junon, and then they swapped it. Is this... This is Mithril Mine. This is the Turk... The place where you talk to the Turks. Man, that looks totally different. Looks a lot more realistic, because it's drawn... Yep, there it is. I mean, I guess I shouldn't say totally different, but like, yeah. I like the big gap there. It's covered up by the plantation in the final version. There's uh, concept art for the title. Looks like they always wanted to do Meteor. It's just dependent on where they actually put it. <laughs> we can't decide where to put the Meteor. Oh, that top left one looks cool. Had a lot of, a lot of concept art for this. I, they they care a lot about their titles. Final version. Uh, brain damage. <laughs> Cloud's hair in the back there looks really wild. Early, like Cosmo Canyon look there. There you go, that's it. Uh, how do I go back? No! <laughs> it let me go back before. really weird. Alright, so, world. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so goofy, I love it. <laughs> it's like, this reminds me of like the Jesse scene where they're looking at the, the train diagram, but it's like the world map. And here you see a wonderful look at the world. I need someone to like <laughs> give it an introduction. So that, I like how the high wind is just flying through the sea and at different speeds. This is Midgar. Earth's Church. The slums. Oh my god, you can't even... Oh my god! It's got, like, items! In the... The cost, in the AP amounts. Oh my god, look at the pictures. I've seen pictures of, like, items online. I never understood where they came from. This is probably where they came from. They made specific, like, models for all the items. This is an ether, by the way. That's what an ether looks like. Dude, you can go everywhere. There's actually two items here, but they're just showing the phoenix down. Just can't see the other one. What is this? Oh. It's a <laughs> Final Fantasy VII point-and-click adventure. Whoa. Check out the shop. What is that? What is that? Dude, these items are so, like, detailed. Maiden's Kiss, soft. Uh, go 
gold gold needle. A little spike ball. What is that? <laughs> Hyper and a tranquilizer, I guess. Dude, this is so wild. These are different bracers. Let's... Wait a second. Since when do they sell... Weapons here? Force... Does he sell the Force Stealer there? I guess he does. This is the Holy Grail or something. That's right, he does still sell the Force Stealer there. I mean, this should be accurate. It's not like this is, like, this was made before the game was finalized. This was made far after. This is the third release of the game, so, like, everything should be accurate. Oh, look at that tent. Oh, it's comfy. God strike for the Goblet of Fire. It shows Ultima here, too? And then is this the movie of the train? We just get the crash one, I guess. Oh, nope, we get... Nope, that's still the crash one. Do we get the other ones? Meow. I mean, that's the most interesting one, so... Can we go to the gold saucer? What the... Oh my god! It's a model and I can move it around! Oh, and I can make it... I can make it drive! <laughs> you thought bus simulator was cool. Oh my god, they have like technical details! Like how much it weighs? What? Dude, this is insane. How... How did we never get this? This is the gold pass. Oh, look at that. It's so cool. Wait. They have info about the guy? No. Wait, what's the information thing? What's this? Just tells you something about the area, I guess. Alright, where are we going? Should probably go to Wonder Square. That's not Wonder Square. There we go. Alright, this is the stuff you can buy for GP. It's XP plus, I think. XP plus, skill plus, nut, old saucer ticket, forget what that is, that's an ether, turbo ether, it's turbo ether, can we play some games? It says what it is, but it doesn't have any info, I guess. This <laughs> song. I'm telling you, it feels like I'm on a... It feels like I went to a... a museum or something and they're like showing me through and here is the wonder square you plug in your little headphones and it gives you like a little readout oh my god look at all these lists is this for each of the it's supposed to be all the rewards you can get for each class which is actually, like, really good information. Is 
sneak attack. That's the cat. The cat. Whatever it's called. Cat's bell. That's the... crystal oh yeah ice crystal it just it looked like an accessory so i was like what is that it's the item to throw stuff oh the staff room i didn't even know this was located here i never knew that i never knew that was because you never go through that door <laughs> that's so cool what if you actually get to the desert from here that's Ramu. Oh my god, Ramu's in there! Get him out! He's stuck! Oh my god, we're in the desert now. Show us the creepy dude. Oh, there's actually a description here, but I don't know what it says. Does anyone know what that says? Rusted sword? Why does it say that? <laughs> What's... What secrets is this well hiding? Wait. Is that... Is that describing the car there? That's so random. That's such a random thing to add. The car model of this random car in the corner of this field. <laughs> this is Eleanor's grave. That makes sense. Alright, click on the highland. Oh, this guy is now a save point. It's been relegated. This is the field without the background. Which they use for a couple things. Holy cow. What about Knights of the Round? <laughs> there they are. They're like little miniature figurines. Fitting there. <laughs> They're all here. North Crater. I can't click on the North Crater. Let's go in. Show us the black materia. Up the stairs. One of these is the organics. There it is. Man, I love these... These weapon models and stuff are just... So detailed. <laughs> Resident Evil shotgun, anyone? <laughs> just an actual... Just an actual shotgun? The sunken Galnica? That would be here. Nope, that's the... Uh, oh wait. There it is. We got the, um... Heaven's Cloud. And... That's... Elixir? Mega Elixir? And this is... This time? Uh, no. What is this? <laughs> That's a bangle. Thank you. Thank you very much. It says Protector on the side. 
Escort. Yeah, actually, escort guard. And this is the informer, which looks kind of different. And this is 2x cut. You see the Turks? You see Hades, though. <laughs> there he is, bubbling up his cauldron. That's the spirit lance, right? And a book. <laughs> Man, I love Vincent's weapons. They're so, like, matter of fact. It's a pistol. <laughs> it goes shoot, shoot with the bullets and kills. Anything else anyone wants to see? I mean, I can sit here for hours looking at this stuff. It's so interesting. Crescia's cave? Was it on there? Uh, let's see. That would be... thinking it was I was I thinking it was north of that I guess usually when I go to this continent I'm coming in this way so I was just thinking it was to the right anyways we got the death penalty another shotgun with like a feather on the front I remember that and then chaos summons we could get to from here. Wait a second. Can we go to space? Oh, there's the Yoshiyuki. And that's the... Wait. I forget. Is that the Spirit Lance? Do you get the Spirit Lance from the old guy or from... I think you get Venus Gospel here, Spirit Lance from there, I think. Here we go. Whoa! Oh my god! I was not expecting this. <laughs> this was the last thing I expected. Can we launch? Shimmer 26. Got some info. 1,418 tons. I can't launch. Oh, I can zoom out though. Too bad I can't launch it. Can we see the side where it says. <laughs> I see where it says danger, and then it says Shinra. It should say Shinra 26 on there somewhere. It just says Shinra. Spot where the uh doesn't doesn't come out like near the top. I think it's that column right there, but there's no like indentation. I think it's like right above the danger sign. So can I go up the ladder or is that it? Darn. 
time. I wanted to go like in in the rocket, but that <laughs> that uh that model was worth the price of admission there. Okay, you want to go to see if we can see Seto? Oh, that's in the mine. Uh, I'm lost. Where's Kazuo King? I think that's the pinwheel. Oh, look, the Turtle Paradise poster. Epic. Oh, it just goes straight here. I'm guessing this is just the video. Yep. What does this say? Does that just say moon? Like, I, I can't believe how much detail there is that they would put a label on the moon here just to be like, yep, that's the moon. <laughs> just in case you're wondering. I want to see if we can see Bahamut Zero. This is the, um, the thing. Yeah, that's limited moon. I guess you wouldn't be able to see the other one. Because you just magically get it after the dungeon. Sorry, I'm kind of overwhelmed by all this stuff. I'm forgetting words. Sorry. Can I go up here? Uh... There's a lot of info in here. I can't go in the thing. Click, 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 click. Let me in! What is this? Is this his piano? I don't even notice there's a piano here. Organ? That just blows my... Like, it makes perfect sense to me that this would show... Like, uh, like items and stuff, because it's supposed to be like a guidebook, kind of. But the fact that it just randomly points out stuff that's obvious just for the sake, like, yep, this is an organ. What is this? A wheel? Captain's wheel? <laughs> Ship wheel. That's so funny. Thank you for the translation, by the way, Kozan. Good thing we have you here. Uh... Well, what else? Is this... Sephiroth? Fire? Yeah. Kind of ruined by this music, don't you think? house. Get the underwear. Oh my god, there's actually a picture. I can't believe it. I, I'm i actually stunned. I thought, like, there's nothing here, so I figured it's like an Easter egg, because there's no, like, there's no, like, thing. 
I never thought I would ever see this. In an official Final Fantasy VII disc. My life has changed forever. That's Final Heaven. I, I, dude. I actually can't believe it. Like, I, I was going in there to check just for a meme. I had no idea. <laughs> I can't. I actually can't believe that. Uh, okay, what else? I want to see Costa del Sol. <laughs> the official Pantsu Hunter. Yes, yes, just take, just take everything. Oh man. Yeah, we. <laughs> Dude, we have to go. We have to go to uh, Wall Market now. Like, absolutely have to. Oh, I don't. Okay. Oh, that's. Okay. I... Oh, this is cool. There's the Loveless poster, and it has a description. CD... Something. Dude, there's so much info. But all this just background stuff. Musical Loveless Advertisement Poster. What does this say? Or, not that. This. CD Poster. It's kind of like info about the wrecked car. Broken firefighter car. There's the member's card. Oh my god. There's a little like secret room with creepy bee ladies. What are we gonna find in here? Pantsu Hunter, activate! What? How do I know? Oh. Alright. Well, I mean... That's what I expected. <laughs> this is what I expected. Where's the makeup? I guess they put makeup on you. These are the rooms where you peek in to the Shinra execs. Holy cow. Can we scroll up? Yeah. Does this really just say bed? Dude, like, you can't even enter these rooms. And they have, like, information on them. It just blows my mind. Oh my god! Oh my god! Close up of this thing. I I don't know why, but thank you. I enjoy. <laughs> Man, I could. I had no idea this was gonna have this much detail. I could like sit here for hours. That picture of the vitamins. Okay. There's so much to find because it doesn't tell you right off the bat like what everything you can click. Like this has no. And then you click it and it gives you this. You could just sit here for hours clicking stuff and probably find new stuff. 
These are all the medicines you can choose. They have a different picture for each one, for some reason. I can't get the other one. The one in the middle is... Hiding. There it is. That looks like... <laughs> is that the deodorant? Isn't it like digestive deodorant and then another D word? So that's literally deodorant. <laughs> Could you imagine you walk in and he's, she's like, Oh, my stomach, I need something to help me. And you just like go there and spray her with deodorant. <laughs> this will work, right? I... That's... You know, it's a wonder that they even saved the world with this equipment. Materia. I want to see those head accessories. I love how they, like, are very obviously upgraded from one another. Alright, here's the big... Here's the big one. The dresses. Do we get Aerith's dress? No. We got... Pink dress. Pink dress that looks a bit nicer. Purple bow dress. I, I seriously am just blown away by this. Here's the different wigs. Oh my god. Oh, do we get a picture of the batteries? Yes! The, <laughs> the batteries actually look like they fit, too. I bet you... Does this just say tank? There's our weapons. For those of you just coming in, this is the fourth disc on the Final Fantasy International. It's called The Perfect Guide, and they made it for the international version when they re-released the game in Japan. So this is... Wait, why are the batteries in here? Um, this is an official Square Enix, like they made this specifically for the international version. It's the fourth disc. And here's the different perfumes. Sexy. Perfume. No idea what that is. That looks like... That looks like green ooze. That's slime. That's Nickelodeon slime in that bottle. <laughs> no thanks. Oh, I want to look at the wall. Yo, Hero, thank you so much for the 44 months. And Astro, thank you for the 16 as well. And Raman, thank you for the 245. And Lightstream, thank you for the 500. And Images, thank you for the 5 months. And RJP, thank you for the 500. And Orion, thank you for the 100 bits. And Jacket, thank you for the 500. Into the mansion we go. What secrets await us in this mansion? Phoenix 
Pansu gold mine. That's an ether. Dude, do I even want to know what this stuff says? <laughs> I am legitimately worried. <laughs> oh, what is this? Dude, I was just asking on Tuesday. No, Wednesday. I asked what this was. And now I get a, an actual look at it. I can't believe it. Triangle wooden horse. I'm afraid. Okay, what? What does this say? <laughs> I'm a little worried. Punishment chair? Oh my god. Hey, what does this say? Thank you for the 169, Daniel. Punishment platform? Oh god. Oh my god. Oh no. They have like a separate name for every tool. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I can't believe it. Whip iron ball candle. Wait, is it this is a candle? This says candle. Oh my god, we finally have an answer. I've always wondered what that thing is, because, you know, it looks like, uh, not a candle. It's a candle. <laughs> I, it actually got, now that I see, now that I know that it's a candle, it does kind of look like a candle. Okay, what is this, pliers? Fun, fun instrument? Pliers? Okay. That's a whip. Gotta be a whip, right? Okay. And then this is... I think you said what this was already. That's whip again. Okay. Those are just two whips side by side. I can't believe... <laughs> Out of all the stuff in this room that they could have described, like this probably says fireplace, cold place or whatever. Out of all the stuff in this room they could have described, they they actually described each individual instrument on the table. That heated stone, dude, that's unreal. That, because every time we get to this point, we always like make the joke, like, what are these things on the table? Little did we know Square Enix, Square Soft, literally described, gave us the canon name of those items on the table. Like, that is act, that actually blows my mind. I can't believe it. That is so amazing. We actually have canon names for those items. This probably says like Corneo's desk. I'm a little afraid to go in here. This is a fear, uh, Piper. Is this like jukebox? <laughs> oh my god, dude. I, like, I've actually wondered what a lot of this stuff is. We always make jokes about this stuff, too. This probably says, this is probably like jukebox. Treasure thingy you can lock up. Like a vault? Like a vault or a chest? Safe. And then what what are these? Because I always just thought these were pots, like empty pots, but Incense burner. Dude, that makes so much sense. Corneo's bed, probably. 
Oh no. There's a name for these creepy pillows? <laughs> oh no. It says fluffy pillow. <laughs> <laughs> and then giant lantern, I guess. Oh my god, the disco ball has a name. Let's go. Fluffy sofa. Mirror ball. This is probably lantern. Oh man. Oh, Dio's trophy room? We gotta go there. Corneo's big lantern. <laughs> Dude, I This is this is seriously a life-changing experience. Every time I play through the game now, every time I do a speed run, every time I do a challenge run, every time we play through it for whatever, I can point out and be like, guys, that is Corneo's big lantern. <laughs> Officially. Officially, Corneo's Big Lantern. Oh, I meant to hit nap. So, oh my god. My life has changed forever. Uh, okay. Gold Saucer. this? Are these like... Is that the napkin? <laughs> Wait a second. Is this the napkin? Or the, the tissue, I mean. This is the tissue? No, that's the autograph. When do you get the autograph? I don't even remember getting the autograph. Where's the tissue then? What is this? That's the... That's the... What? What? Wait! Pa wait! Pause! Pause. Everyone stop. Stop. The tissue that we've been winning from the battle arena all this time has a picture of the Honey Bee Inn on it. Guys. this mean that Johnny fought in the arena? It means that these tissues aren't for crying when you're done at losing at the arena. Like, when you lose at the arena, they're not giving you the tissue to wipe away your, your, your tears. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Listen, I... I put in this disc to show off what this was, okay? And when I saw the movie, I thought that I'd see some alpha footage I had never seen before, but I thought all of this was just gonna be like a tutorial, like 
a guidebook. I didn't know it was gonna change everything I've ever known about the game. Like, my life has changed forever. I can't believe it. This is uh, Omni Slash. Is that? Oh wow, they have the two lists, depending on when you come here. That's so detailed that they show both different lists. This is W Summon. Why? Oh, it's just the same. All right. The moment we've all been waiting for. There's the keystone. The thing is, these already have descriptions in the game. Oh my god. They made us set. I can't. I can't believe it. We have. We have the holy grail of Final Fantasy VII. We have an actual look at the creepy mask. It has its own full model. It wasn't just drawn. I can't. I can't believe it. This has changed my life forever. This is going to be Square Enix's first NFT. We're going to sell this. <laughs> oh my god. Hold on, I need... I need a picture of this. A full screen picture of this. So I can capture it later. Alright. <laughs> I gotta do some stuff with that later. I gotta do something with this. This is unbelievable. I can't believe that exists. What else do we have? Oh, we got this. All the all these actually have titles in the game. Like you can walk up and, and click it. But now we actually get to see it. Charlie Brown tree. Literal desk clock. Goblet of Fire. The robot! Yes! The robot! Look at him! He's so epic. Do I get the picture of Dio? Oh my god. HD 4K picture of Dio. Look at that hairy monstrosity. Look... <laughs> Oh my god. Well, I told you guys, like, I didn't really know what the next sub badge was gonna be, like, after the Master Materia. Now I know. <laughs> Everyone subbed gets this next to their name. Let's go. Balloons. That's the gourd. Cup. Urn. I never noticed it's just straight up lamp. Like these two just like regular lamps. We get the airship. Oh yeah. I don't think this one has a a title. Do you know what this says, Kozan? I don't think you can read this one, because it's up in the air. I don't think you can read this one in-game. Propeller Airship. So this was like a... prototype airship before the high wind, I guess. Is that everything in here? Dude, I can't... I seriously can't believe...
These three are just holy grails, honestly. That's so cool. My life, my life has changed. Let me get these two. I want to get nice big versions of these. Dude, that Dio picture is actually incredible. Like, truly amazing. Oh my god. Speed square? Can we go in here, by the way? Oh, I want to go to the ghost square, too. The 135th soldiers! There they are! That's what they look like! The one, the one is doing like a... What's going on here? What, <laughs> he's like, what are we for? I don't know. What's that 12 there? Does that say there's 12 in the game? Twelve in a set, yeah. And that's the Mazamun. Replica. And there's the umbrella. And there's the spear you get. I don't even remember what it's called. Nothing going on with the... Oh, by the way, that's one of the differences with the Japanese version that we get to see finally firsthand is being able to shoot the propeller. Uh, I've heard that in the Japanese version, a lot of these mini games are way harder. Um, specifically, the Chocobo, the Chocobo race is apparently uh, so hard that sometimes you can't win. So, that'll be pretty interesting to see. Uh, we already did Chocobo. I want to do the hotel. Spooky Skull! We got a... A close-up of the board? Why? <laughs> Freaking chessboard? That's so random. It looks like they're like summons. I see like Leviathan and Bahamut. I don't know what the other ones are. That kind of looks like Odin in the top left hand corner. What? It's a, there's the Turtle Paradise poster. Mona Lisa. Oh my god, freaking Jack. Why, why does it say Jack Pumpkin in English? What, what is this? Why? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Every time I walk in here now, I know that he is, that is Jack Pumpkin. Is that like a... Dude. Like, I don't want to... I don't want to, like, jump to conclusions here, but this is potentially an actual Nightmare Before Christmas reference. Like... Nightmare Before Christmas is one of my favorite things. If there was literally a Nightmare Before Christmas reference in Final Fantasy VII, that would, like, break me completely forever. But I, I don't know if it's, like, literally, but the fact that it's in English makes me think that they actually were like, yeah, this is a reference to Nightmare Before Christmas.
Guys. <laughs> There's a Jack Pumpkin in Final Fantasy VII. Unreal. Actually unreal. Can we go in our room? What what is that? It's so <laughs> Some super goofy ghost picture. Oh yeah, the goofy face. What does this say, Kozan? The, the super goofy face on the on the stairs that I always like to point out it has an official name: Monster Statue. Thank you so much for that. This face is also really creepy. A picture why, why is the why, why is the flower of a model? Man, unreal. Actually unreal. This was so much more than I ever expected it to be. Truly, I thought it was just going to be a guide with the cool video. Uh, anything else? Event Square. Evil Dragon King. I don't see me much here. At least let us go on stage. Oh, man. Gondola? I was hoping for a model of the gondola, maybe. No such luck. You get this picture? Yeah. That picture's in the regular game. Actually can't believe it. All right, I saw some people saying Wu Tai. Yes, high HD version of the pot. The cat house. Well, the cat house is down below. That's the material she gives you. That's cool. This is the official fourth disc included in the Final Fantasy International version, which is basically the Japanese version of the English part version of the game that was re-released in Japan much later after the game's release. And it came with this special fourth disc. I don't remember what item. I think these are just regular items. What is that? 800 gil. I don't know what that is. Fire veil. I don't know, I don't remember there being an elixir here though. This is HP and MP, so I figured probably elixir. Okay. Yeah, so that other one we saw was definitely Mega Elixir. Oh, it shows the opening here. Give you like an idea that's there. Actually, it might already it might always look like that. That's the magic cone, I think. 
And this is the magic shuriken, which I never knew existed for, like, the longest time. Oh, hairpin, yeah. Demon Sealing Shuriken is what that was- that said? What the heck? It's the Magic Shuriken. That's so cool seeing a, a close-up version of the Uritsuru. It's like a Final Fantasy VII theme park, yeah. Dude, it sure feels like it. Okay, what do we say? Beach? Can I get to the beach? Sandals. Oh yeah, we can see if Leviathan is up there. The thing is, though, I think there's another menu where you can see all the materia, so we don't need to worry about that. Because there's like, I know there's like a bestiary and like an item thing. And right, not much else to do on the beach. Flashback. There's the elixir up in the cabinet. Doesn't look like there's any way to get to the flashback. <laughs> the vehicle video? Okay, wait. I am, I am actually kind of interested if that exists. What is this? Is this the motorcycle? Yeah. Cool they included that. So it's like everyone's favorite video. There it is! Oh, we gotta place the music! What? All the other videos, it didn't play music. This one, it randomly plays the music. <laughs> they just, they man, they love this video so much. They had to make it special. <laughs> it's the video. Yeah, it was like a tech demo, and they included it in the final game as like an easter egg. Or just because it fit, but I always thought it was kind of an easter egg, because there's absolutely no hint that it's there. You just have to walk up and press circle, and then it just plays. And I think like... This is the only activatable video in the entire game. Like, every other video plays because you're at a game moment. This is the only one that you walk up and manually activate, as far as I know. Can't think of any others that are, like, technically a video. God, I can pick floors. It's the key card. Oh, all the key cards. Oh my God. This is so cool. Just key 
cards again. <laughs> we just found elevator skip. Can we look at the books? No, it says info. Speed card. Doesn't show elemental there. There's the coupons. Oh, the HP shout. Phoenix down. Yes! <laughs> That's amazing. The sauce. Was that the sauce? And these are the Midgar model pieces. That's really cool. Too bad we can't see the Midgar model. Bathroom. Poison materia. Wow! Creepy Genova picture. I was expecting it, and it still caught me off guard. These are all... These are potions. The President's Chair. What the... Oh my god. Yes. 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 And I can activate it too. <laughs> How is this so detailed? I mean, this is like detailed. That goofy door. I think that's everything in the HQ. Now I truly feel like we just went through like a... It's like the... Shinra tour in the remake. Wait, what about the stairs? Does it actually make you climb every stair? Oh my god, it does. Wait. Well, it shows the two items. Behemoth Horn. And Elixir. It, okay, that's it. <laughs> I was gonna say, if it makes you climb every single stair, that'd be such a meme. Can you go back to the statues? The ones in, uh, in Dio's office? Where you do the mini game in Shinra HQ. Oh, yeah. I clicked them and I didn't, I think it gave some a name, but it didn't, uh, didn't do anything special. These? Yeah, you have to go up the stairs during the, the revisit to get the Behemoth Horn. <coughs> Busts of the Shinra family heads. Oh man, that does make sense. I always wonder what these were. I I more of wonder why the girls standing here are in such weird outfits. 
But yeah, you can even tell, like, that's their shoulders. And then, like, the head, like, busts of probably each president or whatever. Alright, what else? I, I saw a couple other... Big... I, dude, I thought we were gonna spend 20 minutes with this and then move on to the Japanese version. <laughs> There's just so much, it's so cool. City of the Ancients. That's ice cream. Turbo Ranch. <laughs> Turbo thing. Look at all the chocobo fruit. Wait. Any close up of this picture? Look, it's the giant cauliflower. And the fish. What do you mean there's no video? Why not? Nothing happens here? <laughs> Unimportant video? No, you can't. <laughs> Nothing happens here. Nothing at all. I want to see the... Uh, This is the Aurora bracelet. Look at that. I don't have this video either. So I'm still kind of blown away by the, uh, the Chocobo, the Chobo racing field go into the waiting room. That was so cool. What else? Nice around we looked at already. The fuel gauge. Prison we looked at. Uh, there it is. <laughs> the background there. It's the red sub. Trumpet. Oh. Oh, we got the sub. The red sub, no less. Oh, look. It gets, like, darker in the water. <laughs> New sub emote. Because it's a sub, I get it. Do we get the blue sub too? Just the red.
Did not expect this. The <laughs> it's not the rocket. I'm trying to remember... Do you go down here when you get the red sub? It's been so long since I've done the red sub quest, I can't remember. But this, this field does not look familiar to me. into this field. I, I I seriously do not even remember this field. Or if you can even go there. I don't want to jump to conclusions and say this is a brand new field we've never seen before in our whole lives. Because I feel like you can see this, but I really don't remember. Oh, cool. Alien juice. That's the Leviathan scales. This is the trident. Or no. The, um... It's the, uh... Scimitar, I think. Scimitar? Partisan? One of those. I didn't even notice this door here. I think it's the scimitar. Blue Dragon something Moon Sword. What? <laughs> it's supposed to be Leviathan Scales. See, oh, these names, though, are going to be the original Japanese names, not the translated names we got. So, some of them are going to be different. Oh, that was the weapon? That'd be a shame if it was in Japanese, like... Blue Dragon Moon Sword, and then in English we just got Scimitar. Wow, dude. This is this has been truly wild. All right, we got to move on <laughs> eventually. I could look at all of this, though. Like, I could look at this for hours. But we do need to move on. Uh, I, I want to do one more. I want to do Temple. That's the Moonstone. This doesn't show the panel. This is where all the joke weapons are. So we got Rocket Punch. That's the ribbon. That's the trident. That's... Turbo Elixir? Or Turbo Ether, I meant. That's, uh... Luck Plus. even is the exit. I don't remember what this is. Oh, is that the silver rifle? Is that the silver rifle? It doesn't really look like a squirt gun like it does in the American version. But it does look like a toy gun. This doesn't look as much like a squirt gun. Here's the dinosaur room with the nail bat. There it is. HD version of the nail bat. Where's the... Where's the entrance to the next part? 
because I don't even know. Oh, it should be good. That's morph. Here's the clock, but with no clock face. Ah! Oh. <laughs> it's just like in the game, when you fall down, you can't get back up. The Well of Knowledge. That's cool. Uh, I guess we should check all these. Ooh, Rock Wall. I want to see the Princess Guard. the trumpet shell maybe the conch the princess guard. Six is the right way to go. So I don't want to do that yet. Uh, where's the princess guard normally? Isn't it? I thought it was here. Or one of these that for some reason doesn't have an item. Must have missed it. And then there's the work glove, right? It looks like Mickey Mouse glove. <laughs> Bahamut. There he is. That's so cool! The little model of the temple. That's super neat. Alright. I gotta... I'm gonna stop there, but there's still so much. No, there's no black materia in the ice world. Because Simon's supposed to, like, be there. How's it going, Arco? This is the bonus fourth disc introduced in the international version of the game that only Japan got. And it has been a wild adventure up to this point. Like, holy cow, the amount of stuff we found. Alright, so that's the world map. Then there's the data file, which is like the bestiary and stuff, I believe. Oh my god, what is this song? Alright, so this is weapons. This is Cloud's weapons. Oh, look at that little animation. It would take an ungodly amount of time to go through all this, so... Get clouds weapons. Oh, look at the ultimate weapon. Is this Tifa? Oh, this is armor. Is that the Shinra beta? It's got Shinra on it. Armor, necklaces. Yeah, there's no rhyme or reason to it. Thank you, Fat Steve. I think you old Bento as well. Old Bento with the gifted sub and the $77 donation. We'll play that in a bit, but holy cow, thank you so much. This is the quality stuff I'm here for. Thank you for giving us more and more Final Fantasy VII goodness. Thank you. Oh, look at those glasses! Styling! 
those the silver glasses? A white cape. This might be like the sprint shoes. That's the ribbon. This looks straight out of Pokemon. What the heck is this? Whoa! That's cool. Oh, that's the Cursed Ring! No way, that's the Cursed Ring! It actually shows all the stat boosts, too. Which is actually, like, useful knowledge, because you wouldn't know that unless you did the math yourself. Like, it doesn't show that on the accessory screen. That's really cool. Cat's Bell. That's the Sneak Glove. That might be the crown. Materia. Might be too exciting to look through. sources and stuff. Can we get summon materia though? Yeah, here we go. There's Chocomog, Shiva, Ifrit, Ramu, Titan, Odin, Leviathan, Mahomet, uh, Giant Bull, <laughs> Alexander, Phoenix, Neobaham, Hades. Nightmare. Zero Bahamut. Nice throw. What is this? Master? Five Master. Alright, so that's... Was that... What were the things at the top? Oh, it showed Sid this time. I don't know what those things are at the top. I can't select them. like page forward page back yeah. yeah that's what it is all right so then we got maybe characters yep these are characters oh look at those retro models got some info too like blood type height weight and then there's a movie Just limit. August eleventh, two days after my birthday. Let's go. I am cloud confirmed. Like do anything with this model. Tifa. Now Tifa's cool because you get to see all of it. Oh, Tifa way stronger than Cloud. Doing max damage. It's all like different fights too. Like they put so much effort into this. Cancel out that one early. Uh, Barret? Barret's head looks tiny. What happened? Yeah, so for whatever reason, it's just everyone's last limit. Oh god. Very pastel version of Red 13. Eric? Sid? Yuffie? Kate Sith? Vincent? And Sephiroth! Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. 
We don't get a video for Sephiroth, I mean. It's like final Sephiroth, too. Orange 13. Ooh, all the summons. And you get like a movie of them. Oh my god. <laughs> I was not prepared for Fat Chocobo. These are so cool because these are like, you never really get this close of a view of their model. What? Oh, this is probably the two different, yeah. Odin 1, Odin 2, Chocomog 1, Chocomog 2. times 13. The squad. What is this? Okay, this is a bestiary. Oh, this is separated by area. It's like, this is the whirlwind maze. This is so cool that, uh, it's separated by area instead of just being, like, alphabetical. Thank you guys so much for all the bits. I'll go through it in a little bit. I didn't want to pause yet. But thank you. Thank you very much. And Aetheril, thank you so much for the Prime. I appreciate it a lot, man. Joker. These models are so neat. Oh, look at that. Cactuar. I wish I could rotate the models. Like I could with the other ones. We got like... All the details about all the enemies. Okay, I think... What is this? Oh my god, debug enemy. Oh, okay. I think it's ordered by, like... I think this is ordered by HP. So the enemy with the most HP in the game is Saber Sephiroth. <laughs> Random mystery ninja? Wait. Maybe not. What the... That's terrifying. Sapphire weapon, wait! We don't... We don't fight him. <laughs> Master Tomberry. Yeah, I feel like this is organized by HP, but then at the end it's just kind of random. Yeah, okay, so that's what it is. It's so, this is like how it's organized. And then this is like ascending or descending. So if I went MP descending, then this would be the enemy with the most MP in the game. Which apparently is UV. <laughs> in Chocobo. Is this strength, maybe? It's so cool that even the debug enemies are in here, though. like defense maybe not sure <laughs> the water heater I'll have to go in I'm gonna have to go in there and find the water heater at some point all right so that's everything there we still have like three two more to go to all right what is this is this 
Oh, these are all the vehicle models. Instead of having to find them on the world map. So let's see if we missed any. We, we saw that one. Oh, the motorcycle. How do we miss this? Oh my God. Look at it go. <laughs> you probably had to click it in the lobby. How's it going, Fish Dan? Oh, man. That's so freaking cool. Oh, we got the car. <laughs> He's scooting. Mid-goals? Yeah, I don't know what the heck that is. Mid-goals motors. Also, can I just say, like, this book that says Final Fantasy VII on it is, like, really neat. We already saw this one. Oh, the buggy! God, sounds like it's dying. This is probably the yeah. I saw twenty six. I figured. The tiny Bronco. Probably just have to click this in the backyard, but we didn't go in Sid's house. Oh my god, we have to go in Sid's house to see if it shows the AK. Alright, that's the last thing we'll do. I love the tiny Bronco in the top. <laughs> Snowboard. <laughs> this is so random. What does it say on there? Looks like it says bush. No idea what that says. The best vehicle. Oh my god, what if we get like a model of the T? Rush? Oh, the high wind. Can we get a close up of the. As close as it gets. I wanted a close up of the babe. That's as close as it goes. I wonder if, uh, I wonder if the last one is the upgraded high one. Oh, sub. I was about to say, I don't think we've seen the sub yet. I yeah, saw this one. Alright, and then whatever this is. What? What? <laughs> what is that sound effect? Bang. So this is just the art, and then you get like a little bang. Yeah, they truly had some fun with the sounds. Is there one for each character, I guess? Bang. Whoa. This is epic. I was not expecting this. Look at those boots. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I already can tell you what the Vincent and Yuffie ones are going to be. They're like etched into my mind forever. This picture pretty much is too. The Vincent and Yuffie ones are like two of the most popular images on the internet. This is from the disc. I always really like this picture. It's kind of like thematic in a way. Her looking up at the highway. This it. What is this picture? I don't remember. Is this also a disc change picture? I feel like I've never seen this one. That's really neat. Mountains. And there's the Yuffie one that everyone knows. Man, that really is, like, high res. When you zoom in, it doesn't lose any... Like, it gets no pixelation whatsoever. Man. I don't think I ever noticed the materia in her weapon. That's cool. I've seen that picture a million times, I never noticed that. This be Kate Sith. Nice! There's materia. Well, actually, is that materia or just the sides of it? Uh, Also, <laughs> what is the purpose of this zipper? You can never get out. It's like a tiny. I guess it's just the electronics in there. Get win! Alright, and then the Vincent picture everyone knows. I've seen this picture probably more than any other picture on the whole friggin' internet. Do we actually know what... I guess we do. This is Nibelheim because of the gate. I never really thought about it, but like... Is this Nibelheim? But it definitely is because of the gate. Please insert this too. Alright, I think that's it. We have one more... We have one more thing to do, though. I must see Sid's house. Me, 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 me. Wait. Oh, a little model rocket. Sweet. Ah, oh, no AK picture. Oh, what does that say, though? Is Kozan still here? Gun. <laughs> Just gun. <laughs> gun. That is gun. I was, I was really hoping, I was really hoping for like a high res model of an AK-47. <laughs> Alright, where's my, where's my T model? I need a model of just like a teacup. Darn. Or like a big chunk of lard. Be great. What is, does this say? T. This is like the top of the the thing here. This says lard. Does this say sink or T? One of them says lard. This is lard. Oh my god, it actually says lard. And this is... Honey. This is probably like kettle or something. Or stove or something. <laughs> well, now we know that she puts honey in her tea. Yeah, it's probably like kettle. And is this table or tea? A 
its table. Darn. So they probably don't have tea. I can, ah, it's so cool that there's lard, though. That's epic. Alright. I could seriously sit here all freaking day looking at this thing. So many, like, amazing things to find in this, but we only have an hour left to play the Japanese version. I definitely want to do that today, so. But yeah, that was, wow, that was so incredible. We'll, we'll maybe give this another spin sometime. I have the, the PlayStation now, we can play it anytime. <laughs> 